Hi guys, um, it's Miranda here with the book nymph. And since I have a kind of crappy in my mailbox um, this time, because I had a really busy week, as probably most of you know, I had finals and I had to do a lot of makeup work. So I decided I'm not going to only, I'm not going to do just my in my mailbox. I'm going to do a bookcase tour. Um, to like kind of make up for how bad my in my mailbox is. But the only book I got this week, which is a really, like it was an exciting book to get because I've been wanting this book for a while, is Entice by Carrie Jones. Um, I've already read this and let's just say it's amazing. I'm glad I got the third book in the Need series. But so... Since I read it already, there will probably be a review soon. So that's all I got in my mailbox. <laughs> I know, again, kind of sad, but I didn't get to go shopping at all this week. I just had this shipped to me, so. But, um, I guess I should go ahead and start with my bookcase tour. And on the first shelf, I have the Twilight Saga, um, Twilight New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. And then I have down here the um, movie companion, Twilight movie companion. And uh, next I have my popsicle sticks and whatnot. And I know somebody's gonna ask, so I'm going to go ahead and say, um, Jessica at the Chapter Chick, she also does this, and she actually gave me this idea because I was trying to keep track of when I read a book and when I finished it and started it, and I tried to do it on the computer, but I would always forget. So basically what I do is I put the title of the book, which that's Entice, and then I put the date that I started and the date that I finished it, just so you know I can kind of keep track. Just so I know like what I've read and whatnot. Um, then I have The City of Bones, and the City of Ashes, and then The City of Glass um, by C Cassandra Clare. This is the Mortal Instrument series, and the fourth book is The City of Fallen Angels, and I cannot wait till that comes out because I love this series. This series is probably one of one of my favorites. And then I have Clockwork Angels, which is the prequel to the Mortal Instrument series, and it is book one in the Infernal Devices, and it is also by Cassandra Clare. And then I have Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick, and then the second book in the Hush Hush series, uh, Crescendo. Sorry, the lighting up here is really crappy. And then I have Beautiful Creatures, and then... Beautiful Darkness by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I have yet to read this series, but I cannot wait to read it because everybody says how amazing it is and whatnot. So, and then I have Need, Captivate, and Entice um, by Carrie Jones. And then I have The Iron King. And The Iron Daughter by Julie Kagawa. Um, the Iron Bay series. I cannot wait till the third one comes out, which I think comes out in either January or February. I'm not sure. And then moving on to my second shelf, I have Eyes Like Stars by Lisa Manchev. And then the next book, um, Perchance the Dream. Um, and then I have The Summer I Turn Pretty, and It's Not Summer Without You. Um, this is the first two books in the Summer Thrology by Ginny Han. And then I have Wings, and then Spells by April and Pike. Um, I guess this is the Wing series, I don't know. And then I have The Wicked Lovely series, except I do not have the second book. Um, I just ordered it like two days ago, so it should be on its way here. But Christmas shopping is, or Christmas shipping issues is really starting to bother me. 
So the first book in the series is Wicked Lovely. And then Ink Exchange, which I don't have. And then Fragile Eternity. Um, and then the fourth book, which is not mine, it's a friend's, um, is Radiant Shadows. But I, I'm waiting for it to come out in paperback. And the series is by Melissa Barr. And then I have the Chronicles of Vladimir Todd series, the first two books. By Heather Brewer, I have Eighth Grade Fights. And then Ninth Grade Slaves. And I still have not read those. I've started the first and I didn't finish it, so. Um, and then I have the Fairy, is it the Fairy series? By Maggie Skywater. And that is Lamet and Ballad. I have read Lamet and I have not read Ballad, but I won't read that. And my bookshelf has, oh, I should have told you this in the beginning, but my bookshelf really has no order. Like, the first shelf and then the second to here are, like, kind of my series. And then I have, like, all my hardbacks, and then I have my softbacks on the third shelf. And then down there I have just random crap. And then more random crap. But back up here, I have... Nightshade by Andrew Creamer. And it's such a lovely book. And then I have Matched by Ali Condi. And then I have Nevermore by Kelly Craig, which was also a very good book. And then I have Shiver by Maggie Sidewater. Look how torn my copy is. Look at that. I don't know how that happened. And then look, it's so like dirty copy. Okay. And then I have Tantalize by Cynthia Latex Smith. Um, and then I have Stargazer by Claudia Gray. Willow by Julia Oben. Um, the Replacement by Brennan Gunnoff. Enchanted Ivy by Sarah Beth Durst. Winter Girls by Lori Hill Anderson. Um, Firelight by Sophie Jordan. The Tear Collector by Patrick Jones. Um, the Ivy by, is it? Lauren Coons and Lena Onar. And then Happy Face by Stefan Emmond. And then on to my third shelf. Um, and then this is my singles paperback stuff. I have The Hollow by Jessica Verde, which you cannot really see. Um, I think it should be okay. And then I have Fallen by Lauren Kate. And I'm reading this one. You can see my popsicle stick. And then I have Infinite Days by Rebecca Maziel. Um, Personal Demons by Lisa Desrochers. Maybe. And then I have Two Way Streets by Lauren Barnold. And The Nature of Jade by Deb Kaletti. Um, 20 Boys Summer by Sarah Ockler. Not one of my favorite novels. And then I have the first book, sorry, in the House of Night series. Marked by PC and Kristen Cass. And I'm kind of embarrassed to say I haven't even read the first book in the House of Night series, which is pretty sad. Considering, you know, I've had tons of people tell me, oh, you need to read these and whatnot, but I just haven't. Um, which I'm hoping to soon, because everybody tells me they're good. And then I have 13 to Life by Shannon Delaney, which the second book comes out soon, and I cannot wait to get it. And then I have Prophecy of the Sisters by Michelle Zink. Is it Michelle? I think it's Michelle. And then I have Twisted by Laura Hill Anderson, another really good novel. I love that book. It was really good. And then I have Wobby by Joseph Burnish. I don't know. I think it's okay. But I actually had to read this um, as like my seventh grade novel. So, but it was good. I was surprised. I was very surprised. Um, then I have, oops, this one. I have Speak by Lorraine Anderson. Very good. Very, very good. 
Um, Lovesick by Jake Coburn. Uh, okay. Prom by Laurie Anderson. Laurie Hoss Anderson, sorry. I still have not read this. Um, Rules of... Rules of the Road by Joanne... Bauer? I don't know. I don't know how to say these people's last names. I'm sorry. Um, Anatomy of a Boyfriend by Daria... Jandorski, I think. I don't know. <sighs> and then I have Albatross by Josie Bloss. I still have not read that. I need to. And then I have Grief, Grief Girl by Aaron Pinson. Um, If We Kiss by Rachel Vale. The Dark Divine by Brady Spain, which I cannot wait to read. It sounds really good. And I know the second book in the series comes out very soon. Um, and then I have City of Masks by Mary Hoffman. Um, Filmer S by Lisa... I don't know how to say the last name. And then Snapshot by Paul Benjamin. Okay, and then down here, I'm not going to go through all of them because I'm running out of time, but I have the Ink Heart, Horology, some books, oh, The Will of the Empress, Tunnels, Aragon, The Way to Silence, um, Angels and Demons by Dan Brown, The Lightning Thief, um, The Garden of the Purple Dragon, and Elephant Run, It Only Looks Easy, um, Chestnut Hill, the first book in the series, um, Heartland, and then The Queen of the Dragon, and... But yeah, this is one of the first adult novels I've read, and it was good, but just a little too, too much for me. And I think I read that in eighth grade, so yes, a little too much for me. And then I have here my journal where I write my reviews and whatnot. And then I have a briar horse that my dad gave me that was actually his since he was little. And then I have just some random stuff, a Bible, some horse books, notebooks, mastering the Catholic high school exam, Whoa. Other crap. But yep, that is my bookcase. And my bookcase changes all the time, so it'll probably be different in a few days. But yeah, guys, that is all. Um, see you next week.